Hey guys, uh, Ego here, just doing another kind of tutorial video on RBX Custom Font. Uh, I made some more updates to it, and I'm actually handing the project off to somebody else, but I did just want to go over the changes that I made and how to upload fonts, because I've made it as easy as I possibly can and just done general updates to it. So uh, I'm going to assume that you do have the module. I'm not going to talk so much about how to actually use it. You can read the wiki on that. We're just going to be surely going over how to uh, upload stuff and actually um, make it usable by the module. So. Uh, you're, I'm assuming you know how to get to the GitHub page. If you don't, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, so first thing we need to do is pick a font. So I'm going to go to fontsquirrel.com. Uh, uh, and I'm going to go with Roboto because that's what we've been using or I've been using um, kind of alongside things. So we're going to download the TTF. Uh, so I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop called Roboto and that's just going to store all these TTF fonts. Uh, now this tool supports both um, I believe it's OTF if I'm not mistaken but uh, the two main uh, common fonts. So we've got the Robotos in here and I'll just drag that over here and uh, I'm going to create another folder in here called Output. Okay, so that's got our font set up. And as you can see, there's a lot of different fonts here. And there's actually um, two things in here. Roboto Condensed is not the same as Roboto. So I'm just actually going to remove Condensed. I don't have to, uh, but it's actually considered a separate font um, by free type. So we're just going to be focusing on these pure Robotos. But if you want, you can still follow the same steps with Roboto Condensed. Um, so we've got our font here. I'm going to head back over to the GitHub page. I'm going to go to this little release button. I'm going to click custom font version 1.0 or whatever the newest version is dot rar and inside are two folders uh, chrome extension and the generation tool so we'll worry about the chrome extension later and I actually want to talk about that um, but for now let's focus on the generation tool so inside there's just an exe so we're gonna go ahead and run it uh, we're gonna go ahead to the font files and uh, it's perfect it's already actually in there so you're gonna navigate your way over to it select all the files that you want which I'm doing right here um, and then I'm gonna go into the Roboto folder go to output and select that as my output folder um, now I want to keep all the defaults I do not want JSON I actually just want rbx.lua now JSON is for people who maybe for whatever reason want to use this tool for something outside of uh, studio so we're using rbx.lua um, you can have both selected if you want, but we're just going to click generate because we don't need the JSON. So generate, give it a sec here, and there you go, generated one font. So we can close this now. Uh, we can open up our Roboto folder again. If we look in output, it's generated a whole bunch of images here with the text on them um, for each of those fonts, and it's generated a Lua file. Uh, that has all the data about how uh, the module should use it. Now this file is absolutely massive. Uh, now I am going to recommend uh, that you go uh, and I hope I kept it, yep. Um, you're going to go back to the site and you're just going to go ahead and stick the author's name in there. Uh, just give the guy some credit, give him his credentials and hopefully if people uh, want access to it uh, for their own purposes uh, they can do so. I'm just trying to find out here. So we'll go ahead and add these in and then we're going to save that. Okay, uh, sorry, I don't need these here. Um, so we can close that now. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to uh, this site we need to or to the website. We need to upload all the files. Now that can be a really big pain in the butt if we're going to upload each of these one by one and so I can close the generation tool folder as well because there are 20 images and then I need to get the asset IDs for them because I actually don't want the decals I want the image um, so that's what this Chrome extension is for so what I'm gonna do and you don't have to do this it's optional because I'm, I'm fully aware that people um, especially when you go to the website are kind of concerned about security but that's part of the reason that I've left this as an open you know non non-packaged Chrome extension is so that people can read it. Um, you can replace the jQuery if you don't think that's legit, um, but the, the script is very easy to read here and all this uh, is going to do is let us gonna, uh, do a whole bunch of um, files at once and then it's going to return to us um, 
Sorry, I keep opening the wrong stuff. It's going to return to us basically what we need here. So if you don't want to do that though, you have to upload them one by one, find the asset ID and plug them in for each thing. But this is going to make it a lot faster. So once again, that's your choice if you use this or not. Um, I promise I have not done anything malicious in it, but uh, you can only uh, do me so far. Um, so, or believe me so far. Uh, so this, uh, I'm opening up the console because that's where it's going to actually post this stuff. Um, the, the data that I need once it's uploaded the thing. I'm going to head over to extensions. Uh, I click developer mode and then load unpacked extension. The, the Chrome extension, okay. And then I'm going to allow it in incognito because that's what I'm using. Um, and I don't think I have to reload it, but I'll do it just in case, in case clicking uh, allow incognito mess something up. So uh, you can see it's right up here in the corner now, custom font atlas uploader. So we can go to decals. Uh, I don't know if uh, my internet just died there. <laughs> and as you can see, this changed a little bit. So let's find your images. So we can choose files. Once again, perfect. It's put me in the folder that I need already. So I'm just going to select all of these. Uh, now this tool is specific to this Atlas thing. It uses the numbers at the end of them. So don't change the file name. Um, and uh, really don't use this for anything else, especially if you want the asset IDs because it was not meant for that. Um, I based this off of a tool by Saranoc, which is on the Chrome store. So if you do want something for a generalized purpose, you can go look for that. And I also included the link in the JavaScript itself. So I'm going to hit upload. And once again, sorry, remember I have my uh, uh, console open here. Uh, so we're going to hit upload. It's going to go, you know, do a whole bunch of these and wait for all the 20 to come. And as you can see, it's returned all of this now. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this. I'm going to go copy it and I'm going to paste it into here. Awesome. Okay. So from here, we're just going to go into um, a place file. I've already kind of got one set up just to speed things along. Um, I've got the module here. You can find it just by going into your modules, uh, assuming you have it and just click it. And there you go. Sure. I deleted the one and this is just kind of the newest version of it. Uh, then you're going to create insert a module script underneath it. So I just need to find that uh, module script and I'm going to name this Roboto here. And then we're going to copy paste uh, what we just did here. And once again, huge file, right? Like 18,000 lines. So uh, very possible that you might want to split that up into smaller parts if you are aware how to use um, modules to do that and so forth. Um, then here I've got a script here. All it's doing is just replacing this text box, uh, this text box here with the Roboto font. So we'll go ahead and look at that and we'll just play around with it. Once again, if you want to learn more about how to do it, uh, how to mess around with this stuff, you can do that um, by looking at the wiki uh, that I've created on the GitHub page. So uh, we can obviously type in directly because this is a text box. So hello world. Awesome. Um, we can change the style. Um, so we're on the black style right now, but we can go to italic, right? And uh, if we had multiple fonts, we don't have to stick to Roboto. These are just two custom properties that are not uh, stuck to the actual text objects themselves. Um, we can have it uh, do text scaling and so forth and all that stuff. We can change the color, whatever we want to do. Um, we're free to do that. So uh, that's pretty much the rundown of this. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, are able to use this for your stuff. See ya.